So today we're going to be working on our shallow well. At the moment it's not looking very good. So after drinking that disgusting looking water we found that it is salt. It's been a bit of a disaster. Uh, it's day three. We're going to be clearing an area for well number two. Now we've got a bit of a bet going on with my dad. He thinks we're going to find water here because this is where an old ditch used to be. I can't see it, but I hope, I hope I'm wrong. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm not wearing chains for trousers, it's too hot. Obviously when I'm at work, I wear chains trousers for my job because it looks more professional and I'm using them all day, but for 20 minutes of cutting trees down, I'm not going to be wearing them. So I know the uh, people will be watching this and you know commenting about how unsafe I'm being, but it's really my choice and it's my legs. So unfortunately I won the bet, the well's dry, at least we've not drawn salt yet so when it does rain we'll have to pick up what we get from there. Whatever we get we're going to have to store it so the next thing is to uh, dig a big pond as a reservoir so when this does get water in it we draw from that. Right, so after a couple of days away in Scotland, um, in the cool and the damp, we're back here where it's blistering hot. So I'm finishing off this well that we started a few days ago now. Um, we did the, the wells, but we didn't have the lids for them. And I fin also finished, late into the evening, the pond or the reservoir. So when we do get rain, we can fill that up and make use of it while we're in the very wet winters and autumn and uh, hopefully utilise that throughout the dry months because it has been very, very dry. It's parched. Yeah, so this is what we got. This is our where the meteorite or the spaceship landed and uh, it's, um, it's dry. No. It's really dry. Obviously, what we'd usually do 
is when it's wet you can smooth the edges off but it is like concrete I just can't get anything flat with that so you can actually see I don't know if you can see down there probably not there's water in there a um, couple of inches probably of, of salt water by digging it deep and getting that water to come to the surface and then throwing that clay back down we've actually pushed the water back on top of it we want it to be underneath the clay and we want lots of rain to keep it down because you do get fresh stuff here because people have got so many ponds around here natural ones well I'd say they're natural there's lakes over at some golf courses for God's sake can't be telling me it's all coming from a tap for fishing they're not fishing for sea bass hopefully it's just a very odd year I mean that grass has never been that dry it's dead anything that's green is the weeds right I bought these caps um, because we don't want a Jessica's well type issue going on with the way Grace is um, the little girl that fell down a well in America there was a film about it yeah I mean it's nowhere near as deep as they as well but it's still not great if she falls down there so, so what we're going to do is put these caps on now I looked and looked and looked because these were expensive for what they are they're plastic I mean it's, it's hard stuff but £70 each and then with the postage it brought it to £160 for both of them and I was like oh so inflation just shocking so we've got, we actually got a joiner that goes on these. I'm going to hold on to it because by next month it might be a hundred quid. So that goes on there like that. And we'll put some stainless steel uh, hex screws in here all the way around and that will stop her from getting in there. And uh, you know when we want to check it we'll just unscrew them, have a look and uh, see what depth we're at. So I'm going to get this one screwed up and uh, so it's all nice and safe and uh, join us next time because um, we're going to be expanding.